Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show, and today we're talking about your pictures. <laughs> your pictures again. Welcome to episode 36. Send in your emails. We want to see your pictures, so email them, right, Jay? If you want to be on the show, just be sure to email yeah. them. Today we have 11 solid photos. Oh, yeah. okay. Last time Steve said solid, I hated all of them. <laughs> no, we, we joke. So basically this is how it works. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you very much. Please hit the subscribe button. You can see more, not only more videos like this, but we talk about helmets, all of the helmets that are out there. We talk about safety scores. We talk about, we build helmets. Mm -hmm. We make concept pieces, all that kind of stuff. We think you're really going to like it. And we yep. love reading your comments below. So leave we comments do. below. I am going to grade the helmet. Mm -hmm. And I don't haven't decided yet if I'm gonna how harsh I'm gonna be today or not. Oh boy! And Steve is a professional photographer and he's fantastic at his job and he's going to be giving tips and tricks on how you can make the videos or the pictures of your helmets better on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you like to post it. We'll Tick, step, TikTok. We'll step up your social media game. Let's yeah. get let's get with the program here. We got William coming up here. William, here we go. All right, William. So here's what I like right out of the gate. I love the big SSF on the back. Yeah. I like that. It kind of, for some reason, it gives me a little bit of a NASCAR feel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe I mean, that's the font. This is a 2020 helmet, brand new. Did you get this for a birthday? Because I see balloons in the background. So mm -hmm. just, just wondering, mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's uh, in the reflection of the helmet. Correct. This thing is clean. I know you're just aching to get some scuffs on this thing, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, you know, like, like Steve said, we can see that the, it's got the 2020 um, stamp on there. This, so this is a brand new helmet. There's a little bit of a couple of imperfections in where he cut the stripe. But That's it's fine. hanging over and you can still cut that off smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could go, yeah. go back from where you gotta be careful though. You start trimming a little bit here <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're bald. Um, <laughs> right. I like how the stripe ends right where the valve screw is, yes. leaving room for that on the back. That's nice. It looks like it was done by design. I wonder if that was done by design, and then you just cut it. You started there on the, from the back, go forward, and then cut it to fit. That would be interesting. Clear visor looks great. Yeah. Um, I like the decals. We'll give a point for that. Let's go with a 6.9. Okay. All right. High Let's sixes see. to start out. Not too bad. Okay. Next up, Jasic. J A C E K Jasek. Jasek. Not not good with names. All right. So he sent in a little something. He says, Hey, I took my mini on our trip to Poland. Wow. Uh, this guy, this pi these pictures are pretty old. They're a few months old. So thanks Steve, for how do you feel about Eagles? Eagles fans going all the way to Poland. Is that where they belong? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> it's exactly what I'm saying. Get out of here. From a grading the helmet standpoint, these are collectibles out of the box. Yeah. So I can't really give a grade higher or lower than this stock because there's, A, there's not much you can do with mini helmets to improve them. Yep. I kind of feel like I might need to lean on how I like the, the photography of this because if you didn't know you were looking at a mini the way that they were shot, it looks like it's full size because you got right up on it, right? I agree. Speaking of the photos, thank you for going through all of this effort for your team and maybe for the show. These are some great, great pictures. Uh, they were shot on a phone on portrait mode. That's cool. It's a proper way to use it. He got clever with hanging them by the face mask. Nice stuff, man. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I agree. These are out of the box. So out of the box gets a 6.0. That's kind of where I start. Yeah. It makes sense. You got to do something <laughs> wrong to get below that. You yeah. got to do something right to get above that. <laughs> All right, um, cool. Well, photos wise, though, what photos would you recommend? Are... Just use a real camera instead of a iPhone. Truthfully, maybe yeah, maybe uh, not even. Because if you're going to Poland, yeah, you already have the eye to take the good pictures. Yeah. So I'm curious what they would have looked like with like a real good DSLR or something. But hey, man, phones are pretty yeah. good too. That's... Next up, Bates. All right, Bates. I think Steve likes these. I. Love these pictures. So this we, we've got a Zenith Shadow. Yeah. We don't see too many of them. We've got a couple of guys in the pros wearing them in college and so forth. Interesting looking helmet. Yeah, I don't hate it. No. I don't Same hate it. Here. You know, we would actually probably sell some if uh, Zenith would allow dealers, but they don't. you got to go through Zenith for everything. So if you're saying, hey, where can I get a Zenith helmet? Zenith. Zenith. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so, I'm going to say we got the Zenith visor. Zenith uses just a, a generic visor. So there's not really anything special there. Wow. We got white clips. I like that. Um, 
we have an XRS 22S, I believe, uh, for the face mask. I mean, there's no decals on here. It looks like a standard silver paint job on it. I like how he took the picture with you know, him wearing it. Um, we've got a red chin strap, or cup, chin cup on the chin strap on yep. there. I'm gonna go, you know, it's, it's still it's an interesting helmet. We don't see that often. It's true. I'm gonna go with a 6.9 again. It makes sense. And hey yeah. man, those are really great pictures. This one's for you. Ryder. Next one is Ryder. Um, okay, basic setup and all that, I get it. It's just, it's cool with the lights. And it's, well, you know. here's the thing with the lights. If, if you're gonna do the lights, I'm gonna step on your, rain on your parade, Steve. Bring the helmet forward, make the lights bokeh. Yeah, you, you, get, you got a chance for some really nice bokeh. But it's cool, this one with the reflections in yeah. it and stuff. It's nice. Maybe, I, that, maybe that's the plan. But here is the, t the tip with this. Next time, pull the helmet like way away, focus on the helmet, and then the lights will just be like orbs of goodness. Yeah, they blur out and then you don't have the shadows on the, on right, the wall either. Right. But it's uh, cool. So it looks like one of the decals is kind of coming off a little bit in the back. See yeah. That right there. Yeah, well, it is. That's that's interesting. So let's deduct a, a fraction of a point for that there. Mm. This guy's pretty, you know, this guy's used. Yeah. It's lost a lot of its luster or almost all of its luster. You do I, you know, I now that I I see the lights, the kind of it's like a a, a, a fault line. It, it is, yeah. It's kind of cool. It is cool. This guy's probably what, a linebacker, maybe. Uh, sure. Fit. I mean, it's an SFTBD face mask, which is pretty standard. Number is fifty six. Good number, yeah. by the way. Yeah. With that face mask and this setup, literally, that's the most common face mask. It's kind of your all-purpose style. You could be anything from a quarterback to a kicker to a yeah a center. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Wide receiver. Anybody can wear that style. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I, I like those lights. Got the visor yeah. in there. Ah, I'm gonna go with a seven point oh. Well, well earned. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, next up, Trey. More good pictures and effort that went into taking this, which I appreciate. I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of advice with the photos because I think that they're just really great. I love the Texas flag on the back and that it matches the decals and, and the whole look and really does a nice job bringing it together. Yep. And the, the big football on the back, I kind of like that too. The decals are pretty good. You got number on one side, you got the airplane on the other side. Everything matches real nice. The decals are chrome, um, so they're a little bit shinier, obviously, than the face mask. This is the Seattle blue face mask on here, Nike visor with matching uh, visor tabs. Everything's really well color coordinated. Really nice setup. Super nice. St. Um, Joseph's, they made the playoffs. Did they? Look at that. See the towel? Oh, yeah. I like that. Good job, St. Joe's. Yeah, good stuff. I, I'm going to go, this guy, I'm going to go with a 7.5. Picture-wise, again, it's just awesome. Great work. Keep it up. Next up, Zane. Oh, this is wacky. So there's only one picture. Of course it's wacky, Zane. Oh, wait, right. It's, wacky or is zany? it zany? Wait. Uh, oh, we don't need the puns. Okay, so Yuck. we have paint on top of a helmet where the paint has started to come off. Face mask looks a little... Uh, Tweak, bent, if you will. You can see there's a big gap over here and it's much tighter over here. So I think this face mask, the face yeah. mask for sure, I would get dispose of that and get a new one. The Dude. helmet, I feel like with this kind of damage in the paint, this could just be completely cosmetic where you, you can send this helmet off to get reconditioned. They're going to buff all that paint off, kind of start from scratch, take all the pads out and they can repaint it and make it it's never, it's never gonna look like brand new again, but you can come, you bring this thing back to life certainly and get more use out of it. I would almost be concerned, are there cracks anywhere on this helmet? Is this helmet gonna pass certification? Maybe, maybe not. Hard from this angle to really get an idea yeah. of the whole helmet. Um, I'm not a fan of the beat up paint, but this is him showing off uh, you know, his helmet at the end of the season. Yep. Looks like he still's got his uniform on there. Face mask, and you lose some points for that. That's okay. Sometimes the lower scores are something to be proud of. This is a badge of honor, this helmet. Yeah. I think. yeah. I'm going to go with a 4.6. I think he's going to take that 4.6 with pride. Yeah, <laughs> Once you get this helmet back from reconditioning, you get it all put back together, you yeah. get some decals on there, send, send it another picture, and let's see. Uh, we can do it like we can do it before and after. That's cool. All right. Next up, Chase. More good pictures. Oh, yeah, these are nice, huh? <sighs> So we got the SF2BDCTX face mask on here, like that. It, it's hard to focus only on the helmet with 
so much going so, on. So much that's going on. It's almost like it's a, a poster. Did you see the one that says Home of the Bears? Look at the top right. You got a little birdie in there. You, I know you saw that. And he was like, oh. <laughs> was he? Is that what he was like? He probably doesn't care. But he knew I would care, maybe? I don't know. But I think that's awesome. This one with the intense clouds in the background, the uprights, the flag in the back, the scoreboard. Did, did he edit this, you think, or is that just out of camera? You know, sometimes with phones, they don't know what to do with so much saturation. I wouldn't bet if this is right out of the camera. It looks great. It does look good. It looks great. And as far as the helmet goes, very basic. It's this basic silver helmet with a black face mask. It is an upgraded face mask in, face mask in the TX. It's got a hard cup chin strap, got the cam lock system on there, got no decals. Can't see the back of the helmet, so I don't know if he's added his American flag yet or not. This is the first time I've seen somebody do this. He has that part, I think it's K oh, yeah. in the catalog, the little tail on yeah. the... Nobody knows that, Steve. Uh, he's, that's pretty cool. Like, I wonder where did you get the end of that? He probably took it off his old one and put it yeah, on. Yeah, so I'm going to go that's out on the nice. line here, and I'm going to say that this helmet did have the ratchet strap on there. He bought the chin strap, or bought the cam lock chin strap, upgraded that, took the piece off the end of the ratchet, yep. stuck it on here. Could be. Good man. Could be. You know, I'm going to give it some bonus points for that, even if we're wrong. <laughs> and I'm going to go with a 6.8. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. For it's pretty basic. I used yeah. to give really high scores for speed flexes, but now we see them, they're so common. Yeah. It's getting to be it's normal. Got to work yeah. harder. All right. Next up, Connor. Uh, let me make these a touch bigger. These pictures came over really small, but the helmet is pretty beautiful. All right, Connor. So Connor's got some good stuff going on here that we like and some stuff that's not great. You hate that front bumper decal. I hate the front bumper. Like that's, I bet you he hates it too. That's a full point deduction. I agree. You're almost better off not putting it there. It's tough because that bumper would go perfectly between the clips of a speed or a shut helmet. Uh, it looks like the back bumper decal is proper pr proper proportions. And then one more thing that I personally would do, because you can still do this, you should move the visor up that half inch by flipping the clips the other way. Because on the top, you got that weird gap, and yeah. on the bottom, it's too low. It, I think it'll just make it look better. Try it out. The rest of the helmet, though, is really nice. Very nice. And the back of the helmet is nice. We got some nice decals on there. The chrome. Gators is really nice. You got an SCC on there. You got the flag on there. I am going to go with a, I'm still going to give it a pretty high score, even though the, oh, yeah, the, bumpers, a... the bumper's tough. I'm going to go uh, with a 7.8. And, you know, the shock visor helps a lot, especially bringing the whole thing together mm -hmm. with those chrome decals. Nice pictures. Yeah. Just on white, but yeah. it's cool. Next up, Caleb. He's got a little collection going on here. He's got a little mini shrine going on. Yeah. So we've got Patriots and Lions. That's an interesting combination, right? Sure is. Is that a rookie Tom Brady? I have a feeling he it's, just... It's no. something. I have a feeling he follows players. Mm -hmm. He seems to be... Got a little yeah. Gronk, a little Warren Moon action in there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got we got a nice little shrine here. And I think this is, a, this is nice because you got a speed on the bottom. you got a speed on the top. And you've got an old school helmet up top too. And then you got a mini down there. It's nice is that stuff. Doug Flutie in the background. I think it is. I'm gonna again. This is getting graded on the collection as a whole. They look pretty good. Again, I can't really see all the little decals, signatures. You know, I've kind of started giving a point for signatures. Mm. So on average, I'm gonna assume all of these are are uh, signed, and we're they're, they're getting an average of a one point increase all around. They are collectibles. It's an eight something. You think? Hey, yeah. Am I, am I grading the helmets or the or the shrine? Oh, true. And this is an average, so I'm gonna yeah, you know I'll go with an eight point out. There for, you for go the, for the shrine. All right, the sway vote helped you. Yeah. All right, next up. How easily I'm swayed, <laughs> Jonathan. So I put this in here because this is interesting. So he says, "Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jonathan. I live in Virginia. It's my high school helmet. Where the." Um, I can't, the Chiefs, I wanted to send in. Monacan Chiefs. Oh, he wanted to send in a decal set, but they're a little short. But when you get some, send them in. So he said the three middle feathers are one piece. Then there's two feathers on both sides, the headband part, 
And um, he was the best at putting them on in his team. This is a complicated decal setup like I've ever Oh, wow. Okay, so I get what he's saying now. So the headband is one. That's one. And then this is another. Wow. Nice job putting this together. I'd love to get my hands on a set of these decals so we can do up a helmet too. And I got to say, by the way that these are looking, I think that these were designed for the Speed Flex Oh yeah. Like I don't think these were cut after the fact. No, they're definitely cut for the vent holes and for the horseshoe, the flex piece. I mean like Yeah. That's interesting. Nice. That's nice. I, I'm gonna give big props for this. I don't know if I've seen this before. I've never seen it before, and I gotta tell you, that's probably a real pain in the balls. I mean, there's no room for error because mm -mm. that border would be all jacked up otherwise. The only thing that I notice, and I'm sure you notice too, is like it's too bad the white decals aren't white because it's white printed on clear. So you well, can of course I noticed it, Steve, and I, I would of... almost say this might be one of those situations where a instead of using white, maybe like a chrome silver. Oh or, man, could you imagine? That? I mean, I, oil slick decals aren't really a thing, but imagine because they're feathers, a whole bunch of different colors yeah. would be cool. Interesting yeah, design. And, and you're, you're gonna get a lot of big points uh, for this one. The rest of the helmet, pretty basic. We got a face mask that needs a little work. It's already got shown a little bit of metal. The chin strap's a hard cup that, that matches. We got a sock on there. Uh, we got some rabbit ears. Don't see much what's going on on the back of the helmet, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be just as nice as the front. I'm gonna give this guy, because there's was a complexity in this decal, we haven't seen it before, so we always like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go with an 8.0. Oh. Yeah, that's it. I, I don't even know what the back looks like. I would I would do give fan, phantom points. Yeah. All right, well, too bad. You should, you should have spoke up before I made it official. <laughs> All right, next up and last up is Colton. Oh, I love these. So pre being worn and then after the season. I love before and after, if you have them. Yeah. He's been one of the few people that actually has done this. So, Ooh. bright, shiny. Those are nice. That looks like a car that you just drove off the lot. And then... And now it looks like a use. car that's that's been worn. But I even love, like, these didn't even have decals yet, man. Yeah, it's real clean out of the box. We got a, a One Florida decal on the back. We got the flag in the back. We've got numbers. Uh, it just... I mean... Here's the thing. This is the this is what a nice picture will do. It's got a little haze in there. Yeah, it does. You probably know more about what that is than I do. Um, you've got flowers in bloom in the in the back. Steve loves that kind of stuff. Yeah. Overall, it just looks super clean and a lot of drip going on here. Steve. It sure does. You know what? It looks like he made his own visor clips. Visor yeah. clip covers out Can't, of black, uh, like gaffer's tape, electrical tape, almost. Uh, or, Duct tape, yep. you see the threads? Yep. Hey Could man, be. whatever whatever gets the job done. Yeah, the visor didn't make it through the season. So nah, that, no. Yeah. Okay, that happens. I noticed uh, that. I, overall, I love the fact, you're gonna get an extra point because we, you're sending in before and after picks. It takes a lot of thought and preparation beforehand to do that. Uh, the after helmets, I don't know. I mean, I gotta grade that after helmet as a helmet that was worn during the mm -hmm. whole uh, season. Not as good a pictures on the afters as far yeah. as the setup and all of that, right? He was almost over like, it. <laughs> almost like it was a completely different person who took the pictures. It might be. You never know. Never know. Um, but the before pictures are great. I mean, that's almost Instagram worthy. If you if you had tagged us, if you put that photo out and you tag it on your Instagram page, um, it's I'll, nice. I'll talk to the people who run our account and then maybe they'll repost it for you. That's right. I'm going to go with this guy with a 7.9. Yeah, cool. I love that it's face It's clean, mask. it's just clean. It really it's looks good. Clean. That is all that we is that have. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, man. That's all we got time for today. Okay. Yeah, well, it listen. Went fast. Really appreciate you sticking in there with us. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. Send in your picks. Yes. Until next please. time. Cheers. Cheers.